Happy day, everybody. Welcome to today's quick lesson. We're going to talk about influence lines and support lines. Now, they can be the same thing. Influence, they do vary too. They depend on where they are on the palm. So here, the red line is the lifeline. So alongside the lifeline, they can be called influence lines or support lines. And by support line, it can represent a family member, a friend, a husband, a wife, or a partner. They can, in some cases, even depict a guardian angel. Most people with these support lines, in general, have a, a good quality of life during that period that the support lines or influence lines are there. So for instance, if the lifeline happens to be weak in this area where I'm highlighting, say if that part of the lifeline was weak, as in crossbars or very feathery looking or islands, these support and influence lines would help this person through that kind of a period. So they are um, a good thing to have. So they're like sister lines to the lifeline. Sometimes there are what's called worry lines, like as per this photo, I don't know if you can see it, so I'll draw some on there. There is lots of lines that come across there. They are worry lines. They're actually touching the lifeline. That means that for some reason, an influence, more than likely family influence, because it starts all the way from the family ring, with the thumb up here. Family influence is a little bit stressful. And in some instances, that stress line goes all the way through the headline. So it's kind of depicting that uh, some particular event affected the person mentally because it's hit all the way to the headline, which is this one here. So any worry line or stress line that goes all the way across is more than just your domestic stress. So say if it uh, one of these lines went all the way to the heart line, that means the emotions might be affected. Sometimes, the reason why I started talking about this is sometimes these worry lines come directly from the influence lines. So if that's the case, it's pointing to the fact that that person who is an influence is causing worry for the subject, the person with the worry lines. So those are influence lines on the lifeline. I will show you different kinds of influence lines and support lines. And that is on the fate line. So on the fate line, they can look a bit different. For instance, starting at this bottom one here, the dotted one, it comes from the outside and joins the fate line. So that might be support or an influence from an outsider, say a boss, an uncle, or some, some kind of support that's not directly family, so maybe not uncle, but yeah, somebody who has been able to help the person. In many cases, this line depicts a marriage or a partner because the line joins to the fate line. When there's a line that runs alongside, it can be seen as 
a secondary fate line, like a sister line to the fate line. But in many cases, it is a support line. So it can be a business partner, a supportive partner, a supportive partner in marriage, a supportive friend, someone who if you have a best friend and you uh, support each other, that can be depicting somebody who is an influence, a strong influence in the life. So many various meanings for the support and influence lines there. In the case of this support line above, hitting the fate line, that those kind of support lines can depict influence, not from a person necessarily, but through an idea or a feeling. So if the line appears to come from around the headline area, or say from around anywhere on the Mars area, there could be a feeling that has caused the influence or support, such as an epiphany, if a person has an epiphany. Epiphany, I can't say those words. Anyway, you know what I mean. And um, yeah, or, or they can potentially rise from the heart line. So it could be a heartfelt emotion. The person has decided uh, something that they means a lot to them. They've decided that they're going to use that feeling to influence their fate as in potentially career or any any decision, life decision. Because the fate line is not just about career, it is um, life decisions. So you don't have to always have a fate line if you have a career and if you don't have a career, often you have a fate line as well. So it's more about motivation. Just a little bit of advice about the fate line there. I think that's about the end of that quick lesson. I hope you've learned something. Move on. Yes, it was. Look at that. The end. Lots more awesome learning. Please visit www.destinypalmistry.com. That would be awesome. Thanks very much. I'll see you next time. Thank you.